Hi. Hello. 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 Hi, Eddie. How are you? Hi, Hi. Francisco. Hello. Hi, Jose Hello. Rodriguez. Elmer. Hi, teacher. Hi, Hi, good night. Jose Ramos. Good evening, David. Hi, good night. Yeah. Good evening. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Hi, Eli. Hi, Lisette. Hi. Good. How are you guys? Everything okay? Yes. Yeah? Yes. 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 My goodness, it's only it's Monday. Monday. It's I Monday. know, <laughs> but you could be like happier than, yeah, you know, it's a new week. <laughs> All right. We are so, tired of each uh, You're tired, yeah, I know, I know. All right, very good. Well, let's, let's, let's forget about everything else and, and let's learn English, okay? <laughs> Maybe that is not so stressful. Hi, Noe. No, I left. Oh, she went in and she came out. All right. Oh, no, there she is. Hi, you know me. Ya está hablando mal de usted. All right, let's see. Elmer, hello. Good evening. No. Good evening, my dear ah, teacher. How are you? Fine. How are you? Hi, fine. All right. Very good, guys. So, how was the weekend? It was good? Eric, how was your weekend? Was good? Yeah, it was fantastic. And I was went to the my... beach. <gasps> oh, man. Not yet. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yes. All right. Okay. Forbidden. Yeah, of course it is forbidden. Very good. You cannot do that right now. Once everything is over, you can go back. All right. Very good. Yeah. Everybody okay? Yeah. Weekend. You said how was your weekend? Tired, teacher. Tired. Okay. Okay. All right. Very good. Okay. Very good, guys. So let's continue with uh, section two. Remember that on Thursday we were talking about passive voice. And as Elizabeth, that is not in class right now, she was telling us that we can uh, use passive voice when we change the doer of the action, all right? And I was telling you that we use passive voice a lot in English, okay? Sometimes we don't even realize we're using passive voice, but it, I mean, we use it, all right? And I review passive voice because on the platform, on section two, we talk a little bit about that, all right? So we're gonna go on with the topic from the platform, all right? Which is passive when prepositions. Have you watched the platform, guys? Were you able to watch it? Please say yes. Yes. Thank you. Yes. All right, very good. Good students I have, my goodness. All right, <laughs> so uh, the idea here, again, I'm gonna share my presentation with you, which is the same thing i mean it's not the same presentation but it's the same thing that is on the platform the same information just that we're going to go like i'm not going to explain it again if you have questions and everything you may ask me all right so are we ready yeah emocionados please say yes thank you <laughs> yes all right thank you all right so we have here passive with prepositions and that's like the topic that we have on the on the platform for section two Okay, so we have here, and this is what we're gonna be talking about. On the platform, they tell you a little bit about how to make the passive with the present continuous and all that, but I also want to review that just for the ones that were not here with me last, um, oh no, I can move that here, last class, there we go. All right, so here we have continuous passive. Remember that last Thursday, we went over passive voice on most of the tenses, all right? And especially because we are going to be using present continuous and present perfect on using passive voice. So that's why I wanted to review that, okay? So here the big question is, when do we use it? No passive voice. When do we use present continuous passive, okay? I'm not really talking about passive voice in general. I'm talking about when do we use present continuous passive. All right, Francisco, do you mind reading the question? When do? When do we use it? When do we use it? Uh-huh, can you go on, Francisco? Mm -hmm. We use it to describe an action that is in progress right now. Very good. We use it to describe an action that is in progress right now. If you have watched the platform, they are like, why i mean like for example water is being contaminated right now all right like not as we speak like right now but maybe yeah like 
in the, the circumstances like happening right now. All right, so we use it. We use present continuous passive to describe an action. Oops, an action that bothers me. An action. All right, sorry. I don't like those spelling things. An action that is happening right now, okay? That's when we use present continuous passive. Now, how do we form it? We, were, we went over that last Thursday, but here we're only talking about present continuous, so we have it here, and this is the structure, all right? Let me see. Um, Williams, can you go over the structure, please? Yes. Uh, subject plus is or are plus be plus past participle. Right, and the example? Too many people are being caught. Yeah, too many people are being caught because they are not on the, they are not in their houses with the quarantine, all right? So too many people as a subject are because people is plural, being, because we're using the, remember with the passive, we have to use is or are plus some kind of the verb be, in this case is continuous, so it's being plus the past participle verb, which is caught, all right? Too many people are being caught. That's the structure. I mean, that's the example based on the structure. And what is, why do we use it like that? Because we're describing actions that are happening or that they are in progress right now. You understand that, guys? Yes. Yes? Everybody yes. understands? Yes? Thank you. All right. Yes. Okay. Then we go to the present perfect passive. All right. Let's see. Um, I'm going to choose someone else. David, can you read when do we use it? David Rivas? Okay. When do we use it? Mm -hmm. Something that started before the present. All right. When do we use the present perfect passive? We use it when something started before the present. Okay. And this is the structure. Let me see. Jose Ramos, can you read this structure, please? Sure. The structure is subject plus has or have plus been plus participle. Plus, plus participle. Very good. Diego Galicia, can you read the example, please? Yeah, of course. Uh, the example said quarantine has been disobeyed. Disobeyed. All right. Quarantine has disobeyed. been disobeyed. All right. So here again is something that is before the present is not really happening right now because it's already begun all right so it's like um it's a connection between something that began in the past but it's still i mean it happened before the present so that's the past and it moves on to now you understand that hola hello guys uh no teacher you repeat please yes of the, and the use the use is when something started before the present. So that means, remember, Noemi, when we, when we talk about present perfect, it's not the simple past, because when we talk about simple past, the action begun and finished. But when we talk about present perfect, we talk about something that happened before, before now, before the present, but moves on to the present. So the same thing happens with present perfect passive. It began before and became place also. If you look at the example, quarantine has been disobeyed since uh, a month ago till today. Some people are still going out without, not, not, I mean, not needing to go out, all right? So it's a, a situation that has uh, begun or that started before the present and is still happening, yeah? Okay. All right, so, and this is the structure. Remember that this is not just present perfect. This is present perfect passive. Now, what I don't have here right now is the prepositions. Now, Eric, if I have this sentence here, Eric, where are you? I don't see you anymore. I'm here. Ah, there you go, Eric, okay. On my first example, I say too many people are being caught, all right? Can you finish that sentence using a preposition and tell, telling me, for example, by whom is the like, being caught? 
or because of what are these people being caught? Mm. You understand? A little bit. All right. Okay. So for example, I say too many people are being caught. You tell me this. And I said, oh, really? By whom? Oh, really? Uh -huh. By whom? And then I can say, ah, too many people are being caught by the police. Yeah? Okay. All right. Or by, I don't know, their parents. Or by, I don't know, the... Um, the army. The army. All right. By whomever. By Flor. Doesn't matter. All right. I mean, here we're talking about... In this their wives. Sense, <laughs> their wives, yes. All right. Or their husbands. All right. <laughs> Too many people are being caught by someone. Remember, it's passive. We can omit by whom. I can just tell you too many people are being caught. It's up to your imagination by whom. All right. Maybe I don't know by whom either. That's the thing about passive. Remember the passive? You can omit the doer of the action. But now, because we want to use some prepositions, we need to use them. And these are the prepositions that we have here. These are the same prepositions that we have on the platform. By, due to, because of, as a result of, and through. Right? Now, if you ask me, what are they different in meaning? Not really. They are very similar in meaning. All right? Depending what you want to say. Due to, because of, as a result of, is the, like, the meaning is very, very similar. All right? I can say by is like, I'm going to tell you by whom. I'm going to give you like a, a, a name of a person or some doer of the action. Due to, because of, as a result of, they are results or consequences of something. All right? Uh, too many people are being caught due to disobeying the quarantine. All right? Or as a result of... Uh, not uh, not paying attention to I don't know the the lawyer all right so here this the these prepositions we're going to use them at the end all right and they have very similar meanings okay do you understand what I'm saying yeah or so so yeah. so so teacher so so ya le vi la carita no, puedo ver ¿Y qué pasó? ¿Qué les pasó ahora? Hoy lo siento así como que, mmm, you guys are sleeping. It's Monday. It's Monday, all right. Yes. It's Monday. Ya vamos a arreglar eso que it's Monday. Deme un segundo aquí. All right, vean. Just give me a second. I'm just going to show you something here. Remember that whatever we're learning here is not only the, this way that you can use it, but it's going to help you to like be able to say other things. Just give me a second. Just give me one quick second. I just want to show you the for a second. There you go. Okay. Here. I'm gonna show you what we have on the platform. Can you see this? Can you guys see it? Yes. Okay. Yes. So here we have passive with prepositions. So this is what I'm telling you here. Present continuous passive. We already studied that, all right? The air is being polluted. If the air is the subject in this case, is is the verb be, being, because we're using present continuous passive, polluted because we, we have polluted because it's the past participle, all right? Now, we can leave the sentence there. The air is being polluted. You understand what polluted means? Yeah. Yeah, everybody, polluted is contaminado, yeah. right? Okay. Yes. <laughs> the air is being polluted. Yo puedo dejar la oración hasta ahí, pero como ahorita estoy eh, poniendo preposiciones para hacer mi oración más larga, say the air is being polluted by fumes from cars and trucks and buses in El Salvador. Yeah? yeah? So I'm using the preposition by, all right? City streets are being damaged as a result of heavy traffic, all right? So I'm giving you the reason why the streets are being damaged. 
because I tell you they are being damaged as a result of heavy traffic, yeah? If you notice, the preposition is going to be after the past participle of the verb from my passive sentence. Do you understand that? Mm -hmm. Guys, do you understand? No. Yes. yes. Who said no? Yes. Alguien dijo no. <laughs> if you don't understand, tell me because I need to help you. All right? No quiero que se vaya así como hoy no entendí nada. Me voy a frustrar yo. Teacher. Sure. Yes. Uh, the class is about the uh, explanation but the sentence by as a result of uh, basic is the the explanation, the, the, the first sentences. Right, yes. The second part of the sentence is the result or is the consequence or is the... De, de eso trata la clase realmente, de la, de la explicación de la primera... That's de right. La primera, de la primera, de la primera oración. Yeah. Ajá, de All la right. primera... Uh -huh. Que las unimos usando las preposiciones. Uh -huh. En sí, este sí. caso, by as a result of, because, uh -huh. through, uh -huh. and to. Through, through, to. Y yeah. por eso ponía usted las, las by, due to, because of, as uh -huh. result of, proud. Right, yeah. Uh -huh. All right, okay. porque son las mismas Hoy que sí. están en la plataforma, all right. Y lo Hoy que sí. queremos hacer, lo que dice Elmer, es unir la razón o la cosa, o la explicación por qué, están siendo contaminada, eh, pues está siendo contaminado el aire, ah, por la, el humo de los carros, de los buques, etc. Right? O como resultado de el, las, las carreteras o las calles están siendo dañadas como resultado del tráfico pesado, ¿ya? So we're, you, we're joining two sentences. Ahora, ¿cómo se juntan esas dos? ¿Cómo se unen esas dos oraciones? Es... You use present continuous passive para que tenga sentido. With prepositions. With the prepositions of the second part of the sentence. Por eso vimos passive voice el jueves, para recordar un poco cómo se formaba el passive voice. El passive voice pudiera llegar hasta the air is being polluted, hasta ahí. Y no me dan ninguna explicación de por qué el aire está siendo contaminado. Teacher, ¿Ya? hay bastante interferencia, tal vez si todos apagan la, el micrófono. Ok, ya. Yeah. Excellent. All right. No, I saw it. I saw it. I used to you algo. Espérenme, pues. There you go. Thank you. All right. Yeah, you guys understand. Solo póngame la carita así si lo estoy viendo y si no, I don't know porque no los veo. All right. Y lo mismo pasa con el present, el present perfect passive. The roadways have been jammed because of people's, the, the people's dependence on cars. Yeah, many parks have been lost through overbuilding. The homeless have been displaced due to overcrowding in city shelters. So if you notice, no importa si está usando present continuous passive or present perfect passive, siempre podemos explicar el porqué o la consecuencia de lo primero que dijimos. Ahora, la diferencia entre present continuous passive y present perfect passive que son dos tiempos como verbales diferentes, es cuando ocupo cada quien. Por eso en mi presentación les decía, el present continuous passive lo uso para situations that are happening right now. That's why it's present continuous. Y present perfect passive is for situations that started in the present, I mean, started before the present. Yeah? Esa es la gran diferencia. Cuando voy a usar present continuous passive y cuando voy a usar present perfect passive, when something already is, is happening, is present continuous passive. Algo que ya empezó antes del presente is present perfect passive. Pero ambos tiempos, o en este caso ambas yeah, voces en el voz pasiva, eh, son unidas por las preposiciones by, as a result of, because of, through, due to. All right, ahora, ¿hay más preposiciones? Yes. All right, ¿por qué estoy usando esas nada más? Porque, ya, Elmer, porque estas me explican del porqué de mi primera parte de la oración, ¿ya? Yes, guys, hoy sí siento que estoy hablando solita, no los veo y no los escucho. Ah, thank you, thank you. Thank you, all right. Okay, any questions? Questions so far, guys?
A ver, Noé, pregunta. Teacher, Hola. I have a question. Yes, Diego, tell me. Uh, and if we use, uh, uh, I mean, after a preposition, we want to use a uh, verb, we are going to put with ing at the end. Give me an example, Diego. For example, as you told, uh, for example, by by cleaning, for for example. Here, the, uh, here, if you notice, all of the examples that he were like watching on the platform, they're not using other verbs after the prepositions. Oh, all okay. right. In this case, they're using like more like nouns kind of thing: fumes, heavy traffic, heavy sub adjective and then traffic then people it would be a noun over building it's a, a gerund all right so mm -hmm. so if you notice okay. for example many parks have been lost through overbuilding overbuilding is not really a verb it is a gerund all right due to overcrowding is not a, an ing verb is a gerund yeah Okay, thank you. All right, very good. Any other question? Manuel, Jose, David, Elmer, Cecilia, Magdiel, Williams, Anna, hi, Anna, Jose, hi. Rodriguez, Eric, no questions. Hi, Florcita, no questions. No questions. Mm, teacher. Ajá, no. Okay, eh, si usamos el, el passive. El present continuo usaremos el by y el as a result of. No, no importa si es presente continuo pasivo, presente perfecto passive. Usted puede usar las que quiera. No es que solo con el, el, el no solo el by as a result of, solo va con el presente continuo, no. Uh, es que así yo le había entendido, porque van y que iría antes, o sea, esos dos irían antes como del presente. No. Si es la oración en presente. No, no, no. Usted puede, usted puede usar la, la preposición que usted guste siempre y cuando tenga sentido. Y los que son al mismo tiempo, entonces no serían igual because of, ni, ni throw, ni you are too. No. O sea, ellos los han segmentado así, pero no es que solo eso se ocupo con el present perfect y solo eso se ocupo con el, el present continuous passive. Mm. O sea que bueno. la, la explicación ya pierde esa estructura de present continuo pas, pasivo, present perfect passive. Pasivo. ¿Verdad, eh, teacher? No lo entendí el mercito. O sea, o sea que, vaya, pues yo puedo... Si estoy utilizando el present continuo, continuous passive, the air is being polluted because of, y empiezo yo a dar una explicación That's que right. nada yeah. tiene que ver con la estructura anterior. No, 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 usted ya continúa. Y puede Ajá, usar el, el, en lugar de poner, pues, por ejemplo, Noemi, si decimos city streets are being damaged, aquí mm -hmm. ellos pusieron as a result of heavy traffic. Pero yo puedo omitir mm -hmm. as a result of y ponerle because of heavy traffic. Sí. Due to heavy traffic. La explicación nada tiene que ver con la estructura de, de esos uh -huh. dos. Y la preposición uh -huh. puede cambiar, ¿no? No es que puede solo cambiar. esas dos vayan con el presente continuo y las otras tres con el presente perfecto. Usted las puede ah, okay. mix uh -huh. and match. Uh -huh. Ah, ok. Por eso ok, teacher. Tiene sentido, usted las puede usar como usted quiera. Si a usted se le olvidó hacer result of, ocupe because of. Pero siempre va después, ¿verdad? Sí. O sea, sí. entrelazando las dos Eso actividades. Sí, es lo que dice Elmer, porque une. Es que uh -huh. Le da la explicación de la primera, ¿me entiende? Ok. Uh -huh. okay. Very good. Thank okay. you, Dicho. Yes, very good. All right, very good. Y Any other question? Yes. Right. Entonces, siempre cuando usemos el pasivo, vamos a utilizar esas preposiciones. Si usted va a decir el resto del, de la oración, sí. Hola, Acuérdese que la voz pasiva eh, nos, nos da la posibilidad de omitir el por quién o el resultado de algo. Yo solo puedo decirle, many parts have been lost, y ya no le digo el por qué o a través de qué. ¿Ya? La puedo dejar hasta ahí. Ahora, yo quiero hacer como más, más 
en, la, en lo que estoy diciendo y digo, many parts have been lost. Through what, me dice usted? Through overbuilding, through pollution, through, I don't know, not um, through governments, all right? Or through, like, I don't know, poverty. Yeah? Yeah. Gracias. Thank you so much. I, I have a question. Please. Yes, Manuel. Uh, what is the difference because and because of? Because uh, in this case, I don't know, it's possible the roadway has been changed because of because people depend on cars. Yeah, in this case, because you're giving us, Elmer was saying you're explaining or you're giving a reason why, Manuel, it's better to use because of more than just because. Oh, All okay. right. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, thank you. Yeah, very good. All right, very good. I like when you guys have questions. That means that you're awake. <laughs> All right, very good. So here, I'm going to stop sharing this right now and I'm going to go back to my presentation. And this is on the platform. Yo ya vi que algunos después del video han escrito lo que, está, lo que se les pedía. No todos, va bien, bien poquitos, como cuatro o cinco, pero si usted lo hizo, pues ya siéntase así como que, yeah, very good. Y si no lo ha hecho, pues, please do it. Igual, we're going to do it right now, okay? So here we have... I want you to take a picture of this right now. Can you guys take a picture of this? This is exactly what's on the platform, on the video. Si usted ya vio el video, esas son las mismas. No ha cambiado nada, pero es la idea de like, to practice, practice, practice. So please take a picture, a screenshot of this, please, guys. Ready? Ahí te la mando. Ready, ready? Yeah, Eric, ready? No, yeah. ready? Francisco, yeah. ready? Everybody ready? Yeah. All right, so we're gonna, yes. I'm gonna stop sharing the video. I mean, the video of the presentation. We're gonna go to your groups and together, for example, if I'm working with Williams, we're gonna work together, Williams, all right? And we're gonna say, okay, air pollution is threatening the health of people in urban areas, all right? now. This sentence right now, it is not really on passive. We have to change it to passive. All right, mm -hmm. is threatening is like present continuous. So we have to change it to present continuous passive and finish it using by. And then we complete the sentence. Yeah, you understand? Yes. Yeah, so the first thing you need to do is, okay, so this is, is a present continuous active or pa or present perfect active ah it's present continuous active so we need to change it to present continuous passive when we finish teacher. that then yes could you make the first sentences uh, like example All right. I, uh, someone that can help me to do the the first example together para que el mercito esté contento i guess <laughs> i have an idea uh -huh, tell me uh, the health of people in urban areas is being threatened, is being threatened. threatened by air pollution. Okay, by air pollution, right? Very good. So mm -hmm. we say uh, the health of people in urban areas, como acuérdense que cuando hablamos de la voz pasiva, el mer cambiamos, ¿verdad? El, la acción, I mean, el, el que hace la acción con el objeto, quien recibe la acción. En este caso lo tenemos que intercambiar. Por eso Eric bien decía, the health of people in urban areas, all right, is being, because it's present continuous, is being threatened, right. necesito el threatened en el ED, en pasado participio, by, que está la preposición ahí en brackets, by air pollution. ¿Ya, Elmer? Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you, Eric. Very good. All right. So we're going to go to, to our groups. Y lo primero que tiene que ver es presente continuo. Es en activa, pase la presente continuo en pasiva. Así como hicimos ahorita, hay que como intercambiar el orden, right? Y luego usamos because of. Ya la respuesta está como por ahí, ¿verdad? Dentro de su misma oración. Si se fijó en la primera, decía, the health of people in urban areas is being threatened by air pollution. Ya, no se tiene que inventar la razón. Ahí está dentro de la oración. Ya. Yeah. 
All right, very good. Okay, so we go work okay. right now. Si tiene preguntas o dudas, me grita. No, no me grita. <laughs> there you go, guys. Click on your groups, please. dormiste Yes, yes. Okay. Okay. I'm sorry. I don't know what happened. Don't worry. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. I, I, I want to try, but uh, I can't resolve it. Okay. Uh, we are going to do the second. The second, I think, is soil and underground water. Yeah, it's all in on the road. All right. A bin tendría que ser aquí, ¿verdad? It is in present perfect, no? Uh, yeah. Has been, yeah. Has or have? Has. Has been, I think. But because it is in present perfect. Yeah, has been. Has been contaminated. Okay. Uh, 
Hi, how are you doing? Hi, teacher. Hi. Sorry, I have to write <laughs> the sentences. Were you okay. able? You, but you were able to to uh, take a picture, Magdiel. Sorry. You were able to take a picture of the of the sentences. Yeah. Okay. Okay, number three, Jose. Lips farm. Livestock. 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 Okay. Like livestock. Mm -hmm. Like ganado. Okay. Yeah. Teacher mm -hmm. is is correct. The, the second sentence. Let me let me hear it. So what? Soil and underground water have been contaminated because of livestock, livestock, livestock farm. Yeah. It's correct. Yep. Okay. Correct. Very good. Thanks. Okay. Okay. Uh, the the number three. Three. Acid rain. Acid rain. Acid rain. Mm -hmm. Acid, acid or acid? Acid. Okay, acid rain. Eric, how come I don't see you right now? Ah. <laughs> oh, there it is. Ah, oh, okay. <laughs> okay. You're hiding, you're hiding, Eric. <laughs> acid <laughs> rain. Has been creator as a result of the burning of gas, oil, and coal. coal. Yeah, coal. Coal. Mm -hmm. hey, teacher, I was, I was doing my exercise on platform, uh -huh. but I don't know why uh, the, pl the platform said my, my exercises are grown. I don't know why. Did you put a period at the end, Eric? Yeah. Yeah? We were yeah, yeah, the end, yeah. But I think now mm -hmm. that you explain this topic, I'm mm -hmm. going to do it again. Ah, okay. I don't know if I if I did a, a mistake. Ah, okay. All right. Which section? The section two, right? Section two. Section do you two, remember yeah. the knowledge check, Eric? Yeah, the knowledge check is. Do you remember the number of the knowledge check? Um. um the first, I think. Okay, all right. Okay. The first knowledge check. Do me a favor, check I it. I think it is it, the same. Mm -hmm. The same sentences. The, yeah, the, yeah. Those, these are the, the same sentences. I think so, yeah. Just double check. And if there's like, if you think everything is right and you have it wrong on the platform, let me know because sometimes there's something that is not like an extra space or something that was in the platform that is not that that's okay, why I'm, sometimes wrong i'm going to send you my my answer ah okay and yeah go ahead maybe you you can check it sure go check right them, ahead I mean. yeah of course yeah, yeah send, okay. send it to my to my whatsapp yeah yeah okay thank you thank you you too a moment hi kelly hi manuel, hi, manuel. Hi. Hi, teacher. How are you? Fine. Uh, what number are you working on? Eli, ¿qué le pasa a Manuelito? Porque están jóvenes y están aburridos. No, estamos tristes, teacher. Es que estamos esperando la cadena y no fue. Ah, no, hasta mañana. Mentira, <laughs> teacher. <laughs> I, I have a question referring to the, the sentence number four. Okay. Because I don't know, is that uh, I write a hole in the awesome, a hole in the awesome layer has been created through the use of CF, CF, FC in product like hard sprite, but it's not, I don't know, it's okay. Okay. 
And tell me again, I'm sorry. Okay, okay. Uh -huh. A hole in the ozone layer has uh -huh. been created. Created, uh huh. Through the use of CFC in product like hair spray. Perfect, yeah, it's okay. That is correct. Yeah, it is correct. Oh, uh, but in the platform, is a uh, make a mistake. I don't know. And what was the uh, mistake on the platform? Uh, I write this sentence, the same sentence in the platform, but mm -hmm. uh, when submit is a uh, error. Did you sentence. did you write capital letters and periods at the end, Manuel? Yeah, yeah. In the first one, capital letters. In the end, a, pe a period. A period. Yeah. All right. Let me double check it. But I, I mean, it's correct for me. Okay. Yeah, All because right. I tried a different way because it has been and has been and mm -hmm, saying mm -hmm. that. Yeah, but I don't know. All right. Okay. Well, I'm gonna let me check it. I'm gonna I'm gonna go right now to check on another group, and I will check that right now. Okay. I'll let you. I'll let okay. you know. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. Okay.
esto es grave. No, me dijo, pero te van a operar y pues, te puede volver a salir. Me Manuel, what number yeah. did you have problems with? Uh, number four in the platform is uh, exercise 2.2. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, number four. Uh, uh, number they, four, huge amounts, that one. Huge uh, amounts of farmland. No, no the uh, use uh, the ozone layer. The use of CFC in product like hair spray has created a hole in the ozone layer. All right, so what, what do you have for that one? How did you write it? Okay, I write it, a hole in the ozone layer has been created. Throw the use of CFC in product like hard spray. Mm -hmm. Oh, but it's not. Yeah. I don't know if it has been or has been. No, no, no. It's okay. The thing is that, yeah, I'm watching it right now. Uh, you know what? As soon as we finish the class, give me like five minutes. I'm going to change the, the something on the platform because there's a mistake and then redo it. All right, oh. either like later tonight or tomorrow morning. But like oh, okay. when we finish, like 10 minutes after, I'm going to be fixing that. Okay. Oh, okay, that's great. Right. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Now I see the, I, I understand the problem now. Yeah, but it's not you, it's the platform. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> that, that's right. okay. <laughs> Very good. Thank you. Okay, okay. That's him. Hello, hello. Trouble. Hi, teacher. Yes, Hi, teacher. tell me. You have, you need help? Yes, we what are happened? ready. Are you ready? Yeah. All right. The sentence, uh -huh. The health of people check. in urban areas is being threatened. The spell of threaten is not correct, but the, the rest is okay. By okay. air pollution. Just remember that air is lowercase. It's not capital letter. Air pollution. Okay. All right. Hold on. The soil and underground water have been contaminated because of livestock farms. Yeah, the same thing. Livestock is not capital letter and you need a period at the end, okay? Okay. The acid rain has been created as a result of the burning of gas, oil, and coal. Very good. That burning is not capital letter. Very good. A hole in the ozone layer. Check the spelling of layer has been created through the use of CFCs in products like hairspray. Very good. Rare plants. Rare plants and wildlife is being harmed through the destruction of rainforest. All right. Huge amount of farmland has been eaten up. Growth of suburbs. Very good. Nice. Good, okay. guys. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Thank you. Teacher. Thank you. Thank you. My dear teacher, niño, how are you? Insistencia, niño. <laughs> <laughs> Es que a mí no me atiende, me atiende, teacher. Yo no I'm voy a estar esperando. Yo. Sorry, pero es que estaba ayudando a los otros compañeritos. All right. The health of people in urban areas is being threatened. Uy, ¿cómo, cómo escribió threaten, hijo? <laughs> By air pollution. No se escribe así. ¿Cómo se escribe usted? Se le, le falta la H. Fue así. Qué Espéreme, espéreme. Espéreme. Ajá. Josecito, ¿cómo aguanta Elmer? <risa> ya ves, teacher. <risa> ¿Cómo, me, ¿Cómo me aguanta, teacher? Yo no sé. A ver. ¿Hizo su declaración? No. Le dieron hasta junio. Jul, junio. Más le vale. A ver, the soil and underground water are being contaminated because of livestock farms, yeah. The acid rain has been created as a result of the burning of gas, oil, and coal. The hole in the ozone layer has been created through the use of CFCs in products like oil spray. The rare plants and wildlife is being harmed through the destruction of rainforests. A huge amount of farmland has been due to the growth of suburbs. Very good. Solo póngale el punto final. No sea así, teacher. No. <risa> no, uh -huh. eh, fíjese de que nosotros, bueno, teníamos aquí un, un nivel de, 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 de duda. Yo, más que todo, eh, me decía José que esto no cambia porque yo lo había puesto así. Y cambia la... Y todo. 
cambia todo, ¿verdad? Sí, es eaten. Ajá, es así. Ajá. Ajá. Pero aquí no cambia este verbo, teacher. ¿A dónde? O, o sea, porque la estructura es esto en pasado, ¿no? En pasado Por, participio. Um, en pasado participio. Entonces, el, esto no cambia en pasado participio. Mm. Esto que le estoy señalando. No, o sea, cambió porque el presente es it, el pasado es eight. No, mire. Ah, no, porque es presente perfecto. Y en presente perfecto ocupo los pasados participios. Ah, ah, ah. ah ok. ¿Sí? Listo. Uh -huh. Listo, sí, ya, ya, ya le... Ya le entendí la situación. Gracias, teacher. Eso está en amor. Yo lo sé. Eh, no me voy a perder esa, esa, esa imagen porque así los leemos de una vez. No, no se la pierdo. <risa> Bye. Bye. Ok. Ya. Yeah. Teacher. No, oh, ya estamos todos otra vez. Ya. Yeah. I have a lot of problems with my microphone. <laughs> Teacher, you are mute. Teacher, you have a... Uh, okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Yo sí, ¿por qué no me contestan? <laughs> Sorry. Ya ve, it's Monday. <laughs> Está enamorada. Of course. Feel sleepy. No, I'm I'm in love with life, my friend Elmer. That's why, that's why I get very worried about the COVID-19 because I don't want to die. <laughs> anyway, all right. Uh, so you guys finished? Yes. Finish? Yes. yes. All right. Very good. Yes. So we we, we had we did number one together. So we have to do number two, all right? So let's yes. see, I'm gonna share this so we can do it together here. Uh, let me see. Uh, who wants to do number two for me, please, guys? Someone, a volunteer? Only one. Me too. Sure. Uh -huh. Yeah, go ahead. Hola, hola. Okay, number two. Number two, right? Yes, please, Fabian. Hola, who's gonna do number two? Me. Okay. okay. <laughs> All right. Um, let's see. Hey, Eric, can you do number two? Anna, you do number three. Elmer, you do number four. Uh, oh, Lisa, you do number five. Hello. And Ellie, you do number six. Uh -huh. Go ahead, Eric. Okay. Soil and underground water have been contaminated because of livestock farm. Okay, very good. All right, nice. Very good. Number three. Number three. Uh -huh. The acid rain has been created as a result of... Uh -huh. As a result of? of the burning of gas, oil, and coal. Excellent. Very good. Who's going to do number four? Me. Okay. The hole in the ozone layer has, has been created through the use of CFCs in products like air spray. Spray. Very good. Thank you. Number five? Me, teacher. Uh -huh. <laughs> Ladies first. Okay, rat plants and wildlife. Is wildlife, uh huh. It's been harming through the destruction of rainforest. It's been harmed. It's been harmed. Uh huh. By the destruction of rainforest. Very good. And the last one, Ellie? Few among the farmland has been eaten up to the group. Of suburbs. Of suburbs, very good. Of All suburbs. Right. Yes, very good. All right. Nice. Okay, guys, very good. So I think we got it. We understood the topic at the very, I mean, we understood it. That was very nice. 
All right, so tomorrow we'll continue with section two. All right, the grammar part, of course, and then you can go on with uh, working on your exercises. Right? Thank you so much for being in class. I know you were kind of tired and sleepy and all that because it's Monday. So I hope tomorrow you have like different energy going on here, all right? But that's good. It's always nice to see you. And I'm very happy you guys are safe and you guys are at home working on, you know, your platform and everything. So please, if you don't have to go out, don't go out. All right. Just be home and be safe. All right. Yes, please. Okay. All right. Thank you so much. Okay, thank, thank you. you. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Bye. Bye. Have a nice night. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. See you. Thank you, teacher. Bye. Good night, Bye. everybody. Bye.